Whether you're a Tesla fan, a SpaceX fan, or a Solar City fan, we all love Elon Musk. Yesterday, November 21st, Tesla finally released their Cybertruck. Now, it's been getting a lot of flack for the way that it looks and because obviously they put a ball through the window. But I'm going to be talking about all the cool features and everything good that comes about the truck. Because it seems like people are more focused on the negative things about the truck than all the positives that it brings to the table. Now, there's a whole load of stuff that we're going to go over in this, and this is just going to be the start of it. This video will be the first video of my new series on the channel that I'm going to title, Inspired by the Future. Now, all of these videos are, of course, going to be about technology or anything that's future-related, so if you guys do have some topics that you do want me to cover, leave it down in the comments, and I could look into it and read up on them. But let's jump right into it. So the Cybertruck is going to be released in 2021-2022. The outer shell of the truck is nearly impenetrable. From the ultra-hard 30X cold-rolled stainless steel, it is the same metal that is displayed on the Starship. So when you buy this truck, you basically get a friggin' rocket ship. Now they said in the reveal that the, the stainless steel body is bulletproof to 9mm. I'm not sure exactly a 45 caliber or a stronger gun, but... If it is bulletproof to 9mm, that is pretty cool. Now the glass on the other hand may not be bulletproof, but I don't think that you would want the glass to be bulletproof because you just have a bunch of people driving around in an armored truck. I'm not sure if the police and the government would like that, but... But getting into the glass and what it's made of, they're calling it the Tesla Armor Glass. It is ultra strong, it's a polymer layered type of glass, and it absorbs and redirects the force of the impact. So. Clearly in this video, the ball that hit the window, it did not redirect it everywhere, but the window did not shatter. So if you did this to any other truck or vehicle, if you threw a metal ball at it, the window's gonna shatter. Now, luckily the window stayed intact and didn't break. And also it did not go through into the cabin. Now this is where the Tesla Cybertruck gets crazy. It is so versatile that, so with up to 3,500 pounds of payload capacity and an adjustable air suspension the cybertruck is the most powerful vehicle that they have ever built engineered with a hundred cubic feet of exterior lockable storage and a lot more to it this truck is really versatile now this thing was purely built for strength with the ability to pull nearly infinite mass it has a towing capacity of over 14,000 pounds i said over not up to over 14,000 pounds they say that it can do this with ease so that is crazy let alone just Batch it insane. Now you can seat six in the vehicle and you have plenty of room, plenty of space, you have plenty of storage under the seats. It is two rows, three in the front, three in the back, with an advanced 17 inch touchscreen with an all new customized user interface. Okay, now for everybody that came to this video, this is most likely what you want to hear performance and efficiency. Since now this truck is breaking records and is going to enter new ground, it is a new class of strength, speed, and versatility. This is the only all-electric design truck that has ever existed on planet Earth. The powerful drivetrain and low center of gravity provides extraordinary traction control and torque. It can enable you to accelerate from 0 to 60 in as little as 2.9 seconds and up to 500 miles in range. 2.9 seconds. Now I want to get this into your head. Most cars that can go 0 to 60 in just under even 4 seconds alone, even 3 seconds, are priced from anywhere from like $200,000 to like $3 million. Now the fact that this truck, a truck, not a, not a hyper car, not a performance car, not a sports car, a truck that can do zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds is crazy. That means it's just gonna go. Now honestly, this thing going down the road, accelerating onto a highway would look pretty scary as it is just a big metal ship sending through the air. Now getting into the specs, there are three different models of the Tesla Cybertruck. There's a single motor, which is rear wheel drive only. It can 0 to 60 in just under 6.5 seconds. It has a battery life of up to 250 miles plus. The storage is 100 cubic feet with a vault length of 6.5 feet. The towing capacity around for the single motor is 7,500 pounds plus. I'm not sure what the limit is for this model, but it's still a lot. Autopilot will be standard, adaptive air suspension is standard. For the ground clearance, it is up to 16 inches with the air suspension that can adjust you another 4 inches off the ground. The approach angle is 35 degrees and the departure angle is 28 degrees. Now with the dual motor, everything else is the same except the 0-60, to 60, the range, and the drivetrain. 
also the towing capacity. So for the dual motor, all wheel drive, is zero to 60s in just under five seconds, 4.5 seconds, that's what they have listed. The range of the battery is 300 miles plus, the drivetrain is a dual motor all wheel drive system, and the towing capacity is just over 10,000 pounds. Autopilot is standard, everything else in the base model is in every single other model. Now hopping into the last model of the tri-motor all-wheel drive Tesla Cybertruck. This is where it's going to get a little more expensive, just being priced close to $75,000. With that $75,000, you're going to get a 0-60 to 60 in just under 3 seconds, 2.9 seconds for a truck. The battery range will be placed at 500 miles, which is absolutely crazy. That is like a tank and a half of gas for almost the average car on one charge. The drive terrain is a tri-motor all-wheel drive system. It can tow up to 14,000 pounds plus. I'm not sure what the limit is on it, but I want to see what some people do with this thing and how much they can actually tow. It is crazy. Of course, autopilot is standard. Adaptive air suspension is standard in all models. Ground clearance is up to 16 inches and everything else stays the same. Now, I want you guys to understand that this is a prototype. This won't be coming out for at least another two years, maybe three. And you guys just need to give it some time. You need to think about it. Yeah, it may look really, really bad. It may look ugly, but honestly, it's growing on me. Like, just the look. Maybe the back end can change a little bit, but just the look of it and all the perks that it brings to the table and how much you would get out of it for that price is just crazy. I know the base model is priced around $39,000, $40,000, but for a truck like that, for what you're getting is such a deal a truck to get close to the size in the stats that this is performing is at least around seventy thousand dollars you would need a cummins you'd need everything now i'm going to show you guys a little snippet of what this thing can actually do and how much power it really has of course they're doing this tug of war against a ford f-150 which is the base model truck that you can get for the cheapest but but it's still going to just absolutely dominate it in every single category Yeah, but it was uphill. <laughs> now, I just want to reinforce this to you guys again. If you buy this truck, first of all, you pre-order it for $100, and you can get all your money refunded back if you really want. So if you want to pre-order this vehicle, you pay $100, and then when it comes out, you pay the full price. But I just want to reinstate that. This truck has the same metal and material that is on the Starship rocket that will be going to Mars and in space. Now that is just crazy. You need to think that your car, or not even a car, your truck is made out of a fucking rocket. That is crazy. I, right there, I'm sold. I'm sold right there. I'm just so excited to see this thing and I can't wait to see these in the wild. It is just gonna be absolutely insane to see this. And if this becomes the norm for trucks, fuck it, I don't care, honestly. Because nowadays, gas is way more expensive than electricity, and I think this is the best shift that we should be doing. We should be shifting towards renewable energy and electricity. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope this inspires you for the future, because honestly, it inspired me. Everything that Elon Musk does with his companies inspires millions of people, including me. And I just want to thank him for everything that he does and all the companies that put in their hard work to create these amazing things from rockets to solar panels to fucking tesla trucks to autopilot to everything i think we all owe a big thank you to elon musk and spacex tesla solar city and i think that they are doing a phenomenal job and i want them to keep it up because without them there'd be no inspiration for us because the world is so dark and everything that is happening is just very sad to see, but this is the light that we see down the pathway. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like. And let me know what you think about this truck down in the comments. I want to see some of your guys' opinions because I personally like it. It's, it's going to take some time to get used to, but I know some people don't like it. But let me know down in the comments. But yeah, that was the Tesla Cybertruck. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, I will see you guys later in the next one of another episode of Inspired by the Future. Also, before the video ends, I want to know what you guys think of this series of Inspired by the Future. I think that it's a really good idea, and I kind of want you guys to be more involved with it. If you guys do come up with any cool ideas or anything that comes out in the future days coming, let me know. 
and I'll look into everything because I think that this could be a really cool series starting from spaceships to cars to technology to medical advances to literally anything. I hope that this could be a cool series and I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, go Elon Musk. Also, P.S., the next episode of Inspired by the Future is going to be on the Starship rocket. Bye.